This programme is brought to you by ultimatepool.tv. Every week, our top Ultimate Pool pros are pitted against a catalogue of different players from all around the country. Every now and then, though, a wild card appears to really threaten to upset the established order. Enter Dynamite Darren Appleton. The small table legend makes his Ultimate Pool debut tonight, and the excitement is palpable. A nine-ball all-star, but before his Moscone exploits, he was known for being one of the best eight-ball players in the world. He's joined by the King Pigeon, Chris Patient, who's an explosive player in his own right. They should be, if nothing else box office entertainment. The ultimate pool pro who draws the wild card assignment is Aaron Davies. He teams with top challenger Matt Brearley. Aaron is bang in form having reached the Champions League final just eight weeks ago and in his good mate Matt Brearley he has a partner who he knows inside and out. They'll take some stopping. Elsewhere, a couple of veterans from Liverpool take to the table as Dave Arnold teams with Barry Kelly. A combined age of 107 with so much experience to call upon. Consider them dark horses tonight. Our final pairing sees IRO referee eagle-eyed Matt Ward take his gloves off and pick up his cue to team with his son Liam. Special shirts for a special night for the pair who are local league doubles champions. A great night in store as the Ultimate Pool Pairs Cup enters the halfway stage. It's week number eight. We join Darren Appleton with a break in the opening frame. Stephen Jameson and Simon Webb on commentary. Very excited to see just how he goes. He's got the first break for his team tonight. And if he's going to break like that all night, himself and Chris Payson might have a very good evening. And it's a good start for them at the table for the first frame. If you are new around here to the Ultimate Pool Pairs Cup, dare say we've probably got a few nine ball fans watching this evening with Darren playing. We'll have... All four pairs play each other tonight in a round-robin format. Top of the league will go through to the next rounds at the end of the night. If we're tied, we will decide it with a six-red shootout. All the teams will play each other. The match themselves are 20 minutes long. Races to four or zero on the clock, whichever does come first. And we'll have scotch doubles to open things up. Two pairs of singles. Scotch doubles again. Two singles. And if required, the deciding frame. Frame number seven will be a Scotch doubles frame. Now, we do see the pairs talk to each other quite a bit. That that will happen. And it's going to happen in this pairing more than most, Simon. Chris questioning whether Darren likes him after leaving him there. Yeah, I love this. I mean, they're going to have a lot of fun out there tonight. Although the way they were talking to each other during their warm-ups and stuff was uh, very entertaining. Yeah, Darren. really, really, really good mates. And they're going to be entertainment tonight, no doubt about it. Yeah, and Darren definitely left uh, Chris in a slightly tricky position there, and Chris has had to return the favour, but that's worked out for them. They'll take the result. That's a nice little nudge off the jaw. <laughs> <laughs> this for one nil then. Job done from Chris Patient. Appleton and Patient won the next two singles frames as well. We joined them with a chance to win 4 0. But now that well, we've lost two and a half, three minutes since that last opportunity they had you know now the match clock is is absolutely against them four minutes left in the match so it really hurts them shot what a shot that was from the king pigeon at the minute i mean he's uh he's yet to make a mistake darren appleton's letting the side down a little bit here and um, when uh when chris played last year uh, with mark gray <laughs> he <laughs> he was very very good on that night as well you better do something here. You've got three seconds. <laughs> and he's left Chris absolutely hanging here. What's he got in the locker for us? It was a very thin cut. Well, he's tried to uh, play that with extreme side and spin it around three cushions. Uh, that has not worked out. Well, Matt and Liam here have got a great chance to put a frame on the board. And whilst... They may well still go on to lose this match. This could be important for them. Yeah, this will help them settle the night for yeah. sure. And they've brought down a plenty of support as well. I mean, you saw it earlier on. There's a 
real decent crowd around their side of the table. I think they've, uh, they've brought down half of the Dallas and local league. And this will get a ripple. That's a lovely routine. Matt Ward gets the job done. On to the next, and Matt Ward has a chance to pull another frame back. Oh, that's a shot. Oh, and he's picked the gap as well. <laughs> well, Matt's, I'll tell you what, for all the joking around out there, this Aaron. is important, yeah, because remember that it will be the uh, Ward and Ward partnership that break next. Big shot here, if he can knock it in, the draw is on. Oh. Big, big moment for Matt Ward there. Oh, what a chance. And that is a let off. That is a real, real let off. The yellow on the bottom right hand corner doesn't slide by. So this is just a case of potting the balls. Well, I say this is a case of potting the balls. Now he's going to take on the, the developing shot. I thought he was just going to pot two more balls and, and be job done. But he's very nearly played an absolute all-star shot there, hasn't he? Great effort. But uh, whilst he's kind of on it, tries to play the double. Doesn't quite get it right. Knew he was leaving absolutely nothing. And with 25 seconds left, no real chance here. Although... If he can get that to drop and punch in the eight ball, they'll have a break. Yes, yes, yes. Tell you what. Eagle eye, Matt Ward's is Ingle Angles. Have some Look of at that. that for a finish. Well, eight seconds left, 3-2, and the Wards are breaking for a draw. So, golden break draws it. Anything else? And... It will be a 3-2 result. It is their break, but it is Liam Ward to break. You've got to see the cut break here. Plenty of support in. Yeah, has to move. Well, decided imagine? to move to the cut break. Get the eight ball moving. Eight ball's moving. Not quite going to reach the pocket, though, and that will do it. Dynamite Darren Appleton and the King Pigeon Chris Patient get their first win on the boards, but not without a little bit of drama. Great effort from Liam Wards and Matt Wards. Appleton and Patient got the win in the opening match. On to match two. Arnold and Kelly won a scrappy opening frame. We join Arnold with a break in frame two. The side that Dave was really pleased to get Barry to play with him and a, a, a great player. That's uh, trying to roll back a few years. Yeah, and you know, one of the big question marks was how well were they going to deal with the rules? And they really used the rules to their advantage in that previous frame. Excellent the way they played that one. A oh, dry break from Dave Arnold. So it's going to allow Aaron Davies to the table. Champions League finalist looking to get his team on the board tonight. I think he'd like to go yellows here if he had an opening yellow or an easier opening yellow. He's, there's, uh, there were options on yellows, but they weren't great options. So he's taking on reds, which for me were slightly the harder colour set. And they're definitely the harder colour set now. Two nearest the eight ball are tricky. I don't think he can see past the, the first one to get to the one into the right centre. So it's got to be a double. And he misses the double. Tough shot. He will have felt forced into the, the second colour set there. And a uh, wide open chance now to go 2 0.
Just gotta mind your work here. They all they all go. Play the plant to the bottom right and make sure you're on the next ball or you're on the one you're playing, the plant that is. There's nothing really in the way. I think he's more hampered than it looks from our main camera. It looks like from our main camera we he can get to the middle of the cue ball here. Actually not sure he can, it would be bridging, so I think he's looking at a second route. Yeah, interesting to see Barry on his feet as well, just minding Dave's work for him. Although I do think he's uh, he has got a, a bad foot, he was telling us earlier, so that might be a part of it as well, just to keep it moving. Yeah, you can see he's uh, sort of limping around there and one shoe on, one shoe off. Just give him the vibe of a sort of... Uh, Almost like an Ofsted inspector, doesn't he? <laughs> Just there. <laughs> uh, he's really calling for that cue ball to stop. He wanted to be straight in on the one to the top left, the one in the middle, and then use the one at the top of the table to come down for the, leave the one nearest the eight ball last. There's a little bit more angle than that, but I still think he can play this natural, and he should just miss the red. And then you're okay. Well, it looks like he's going to change his mind here and come down the table first. I mean, that's okay. The only problem he's got here is he is playing around with the Reds a little bit with his positional shot here. If he tries to stun it across, then he's going to go towards them direct. If he uses the top cushion, then he's going to use one or two cushions and go close to them. So he needs to play a good positional shot here. Yeah, like that. He'd love to get the cue ball to the left-hand side of straight down the middle of the table. Yeah, that's where he wants it. It looks like the natural comes a little bit more down the centre of the table, if not a smidge on the right-hand side. So needs to hit this one really well. Yeah, he may be a little bit straight, and I'm giving him credit for, actually. So it's, uh, yeah, just get through it, and you're going to get across there naturally. That was nice. So snakeskin skin Dave Arnold is looking to set the seal on frame number two. And they're using the match clock a little bit. Yeah, it's I love a this. Bold step. Some real thinking going into that from Dave Arnold. And that made it 2-0, which is where it ended as the clock ran down in a tactical third frame, meaning Arnold and Kelly get the victory and the group favourites are beaten. They're straight back up in action as well, up against the wards. They won an opening scotch frame and Matt Brilly has the break in frame two. You know, it's gonna, not going to be plain sailing for him. It wasn't last time they played in last year's competition. You know, they went, through, went to a three-way six red shootout and I think we're going to see plenty of drama there as well. And uh, just in case Mark's watching, I actually took a world title up <laughs> in there. He's the four-time snooker world champion, not three. Yeah, I tried to... Uh, <laughs> I didn't want to ca catch you out. I'd like to call him there. Rather go a step further, it's the five times world champion because he's got the snooker one, uh, the pool one as well. So. <laughs> yeah, of course. They took two off him. So Matt Brilli on the singles and in at the table again as they look to stamp their early authority on this match. This has been so much more like it from Matt and Aaron so far in this one. So yeah, one in the crowd on the other side. Darlison boys well represented with their uh, with the wards, but for Matt and Aaron, Aaron's partner Laura in the crowd with them. Travels near and far to support Aaron at these events. 
Eight balls in. Well, he caught him the driving force. He's got them back going. Golden break. And listen to the noise. Goodness me. And the celebration as well from Eagle Hyde. Matt Ward, look at that. I'll tell you what, there's some ultimate poor professionals need to take note of that break and that reaction. That is how you celebrate a golden break. You give it some. He meant that as well. Yeah, absolutely he did. What a moment for Matt Ward. And he also won the next Scotch frame with his son to tie the scores up. You've got to remember, that's the favourites there. Matt Brearley and Aaron Davies lost their opening. 2-2 two -two here. They are bang under it. Oh, that's unlucky. It is unlucky. That's really tough. So, cue ball in hand behind the line. And red's the choice. Not a guaranteed run out here by any stretch for Aaron but he's normally very good at working out these sorts of problems. He only really has one tricky ball, sort of two, but if you play a plant on the two reds, then it opens the other one up. He'll probably not worry about moving the other one. He could play on it into the middle. He could play short position on it. Depends how he sees it here. He's got an angle he could play into the middle of all, but that'd be risky. He has played into the middle of it all, but that's come out like a dream. Oh, he's controlled that so well, though, Si. Uh, yeah, that's nice. It really is. That's a lovely shot as well. Had options there. A really, really tidy visit from to the table from Aaron Davies. Job done. Nod of the head from Matt Brearley. That frame would be enough for the victory as the clock ran down in the next frame. On to match four, where the winners of our opening two matches will do battle. Appleton and Patient taking on Arnold and Kelly. And it was Appleton and Patient who got off to the better start, winning the opening Scotch frame. And we joined Darren at the table in the second. So, mileage still left in this frame, that's for sure. Yeah, difficult to see how Arnold's going to have a chance here. Because they won their opening match of the night, these two pairs, they are in a little bit more of a, a better situation than our pairs in the last match. If they lose this, it's it's not all over. They just lose the control. It's no longer in their hands what happens this evening, whether or not they uh, they go through or not. I think that was a, a poor choice there from Arnie. He needed to, um, he tried to play the yellow off the red and he was looking to be aggressive. But for me, he played a loss of turn shot and you've, you've got control of the frame. Darren thinking about because general rule of thumb is you want to keep your balls on the table I wonder if he's is thinking he gonna, is he going to go for these I think he's aggressive here you see the yellow red that are cl together they plant off the yellow that opens up the pocket it's tight whether he can get enough off the other yellow above it looks like it's half in the way but the shot's on I think it certainly is on 
Oh, that little last kiss was not good because I think the red at the bottom, although from the overhead, doesn't look like it's on. I think it does go bottom right. So if the cue board stayed on where it was going to be, it'd be easier, but he's still on here. Oh, I tell you what, this is some finish if he can get these. Yeah, I think for me, missed opportunity from from Dave. He could have kept it tied up and taking control of a tactical exchange, and he's actually left Darren with a good chance to clear up. Great vision to see the shot. And brilliant execution. Yeah, absolutely awesome from Dynamite Darren Appleton. Some finished that. Kelly pulled one back in frame three. We join him breaking off in the fourth. Cut break, trying to get the eight ball in motion. Two minutes and nine remain. Eight ball is in motion. It is going to get close to that pocket. But look at this little split. Yeah, this is on. These yellows are there. These yellows are there. Oh, what a miss. Poor miss. That was a great chance to tie the scores up. That really was a great chance. Yeah, all there, weren't they? They were all there. It was a tricky little cutback. Don't, whenever it's a little blind pocket and you're watching the cue ball as well, he was just trying to avoid the yellow, but he'll be so disappointed because that really was there for him. And now, unfortunately, the yellows are there for Darren and Chris. And the way they've played tonight, you expect them to take these. Yeah, they've almost come a cropper in, in this match when they've had to... It, they've been difficult frames they've had to take on. This one, I wouldn't say, is in that sort of category. Leaves the yellow over the bottom right-hand corner. That's your ball for the eight ball. They almost don't need to get these either. If they take their time, they can just pot out. But it looks like they are going to try and get out of dodge and secure a 3-1 lead. They're not taking their time. They're running through it. They want to get to four. Hafton <laughs> just floats one in. And simple task of the eight ball for the King Pigeon. 3-1. So Darren Appleton on the break. 30 seconds to go. And pop two balls and you're out. Don't even need to play a shot. You call your extension and it runs the clock down. But he's going to play. That'll do us. 3-1 win then for Darren Appleton and Chris Patient. They rumble on in the ultimate pool pairs cup. They will have a match to decide their destiny at the end of the night. It's not quite over for their opponents, Arnold and Kelly, but they are clinging on by a thread. Arnold and Kelly are straight back in action, needing a win to have any chance of qualification. Needs to hit a cushion, and he hasn't. That's a foul. Have to hit a cushion after contact. And it's go time here for the wards. For me, you take the, the yellow into the right centre, the two together, and then you've got the, it opens up the other one to the left centre and everything else goes. So I'm going right centre and play the next one into the left centre, just play it off the red, open up the eight ball some more. You're on the one on the rail and then everything goes comfortably. That's exactly what they're looking at. Might have to play this direct and not off the red here, because if they go off the red, the cue ball's going to run a little bit low. The eight ball still goes, so it's not really a problem, yeah. So they haven't really thought about moving the uh, red at all. Just makes it a bigger pocket for the eight ball, but that shouldn't really cause them any uh, real headaches. And they can still play another yellow off that red in the middle as well, actually. Maybe they've left it there for that reason. Oh, no. OK, 
Again, all the hard work done. And the older Wardy lets down the younger. That was there for him. Controlled that one well. Yeah, that was a nice shot. Oh, disappointment for, for the wards there. That was a good chance to get in front. I'd love to win a match here. Yeah, no doubt about it. That, you know, the you know Matt and Liam are already out here, but they will absolutely be playing their hearts out here. They've got a lot of pride. They'd love to win a match together. Arnold won the next frame to go 2-0 in front. We join his partner with a chance to go 3-0. Just first glance, that's gone a little bit awkward, but left the one over the bottom left-hand corner pocket, and that uh, helps him out now because he can use that one to get back into play. Doesn't want to leave a lot of angle on the one to the top right. So come across two cushions, bounce here. Keep going, keep going. Just a little bit short. Might have to take the one at the top of the table first or stun this ac across and back across the face of it all. then there's still life in this yet seventy seconds cue ball that's how you get on that's how you get on it he's, he's threaded the needle there it's the only way Oh, how's your eight balls, Matt? How do you like these? Shot! He's absolutely crunched that one in. Great work from Matt Wards. Watch the eight ball. He's already had one tonight. Ooh, it was going to be kicked. 30 seconds, Wardy. This this is on. Come on, Matt. This is on. This is on. Mm. Foul called. And it's the doubles frame. And Matt Ward playing two consecutive shots is a foul. What a shame, because there was a great chance for that on. That was on. OK, it, it needed a, a run around the table, but there was definitely a chance. Oh, well, well. Crazy ending to the night then for Team Ward. It might not be over for Arnold and Kelly. Arnold and Kelly have done all they can. On to our last game then. If Appleton and Patient win or draw, they go through at the top of the group. If Davies and Burley win, it's a three-way six-red shootout. For what should be an absolute cracker, Darren Appleton's break is back. How about that to start us off in our final match of the evening? Yeah, bang. Have that. Winner of this stays in the competition. We might not be done for the night, though, depending on who does it. If Appleton and Patient win, they are into the next round. If they draw, they are into the next round. If they are beaten, though, by Aaron Davies and Matt Brearley, it is three-way six red shootout time. Strap in. The perfect break good opportunity to get going in this uh, pivotal match for them. So he has a choice for Appleton and Patient. And 
and they look in pretty decent shape here. Yeah, just a perfect layout for them to go out in the opening frame. Mm -hmm. Those two still <laughs> having a good time. Yeah, they're still having a laugh out there, aren't they? Job done for frame number one. That puts the pressure on. Actually quite a clever shot. Yes, he's leaving a pot on, but there's three yellows that need the pocket to the that uh, he'll be trying to take. He'd want to take them in. So obviously, even if he could make a pot to get going in this visit, it's still hard work from here. It's a gamble from Aaron, but it's a a uh, percentage play. Shot. Good pot. Needs another one. And his, his key shot really will be his last yellow. He needs to leave a nice angle to have a nice shot on the eight ball. Has he got enough angle? I think the natural here takes him just on the underside, but because he's on the cushion, I don't think he can... Uh, it's a, he has to really jack up to throw it wide enough to be on the eight ball. He might play into it here if, if it's the natural. He did, and that's a great shot. Brilliant stuff from Chris Patient. In an idle world, you don't play into it there. You play on it, but because of that's the natural he had and it was hard to, to go wider without really having to jack the queue up, it was, again, the, the right choice for him. This is still a tricky ball, though. Could have come out a little bit better for him. Shot from Chris Patient. How about it, the King Pigeon? Awesome stuff. Yeah, I thought that was a clever shot for me from, from Aaron. He asked a big, big question of Chris. He's basically saying, here you go, you want a chance to clear it up, off you go. And Chris was good enough to take it. Matt Brilly won the next with a very quick reverse clearance, and he is breaking off in frame four. It's going to come dry, and now Appleton and Patient really have a chance to break the match here. If they can get this frame, they should, should have enough. Bit of clock play here as well. This is a messy layout. Four minutes left, 15 seconds a shot. It's not easy to run it right down, but remember, they, the draw's good enough for them, so this is where you really have to manage that clock. They haven't really done it all, all night no. long, really. They've not really been too interested in that. Wonder if now, with the stakes high, it starts to enter the brains. Wanted a little bit of a fuller contact to stay right behind that red, but doing the right thing and not uh, pushing the boat out too much. Just wonder if they could play a long plant mm. and, and just nudge that will nudge into the red and then it starts to open up the pocket. It's not the shot you'd normally play, but for me it's are you gonna push the boat out and really chase one? There you go. There's your answer. Yes they are. And they have opened most of it up. That yellow just has gone slightly tricky. It doesn't pass the red. If they were being hyper picky, if the cue ball was a little bit further at the table, they might be able to play into it. I think they could just graze off it and the, the yellows are a plant. Well, they think they've got enough time to be patient and wait, but they could have potted that with a little little stun shot, graze off the yellow, and then the two yellows to the right centre are a plant into the right centre. And I think at some point you're going to have to chase something. Got to win two frames from here, 2 minutes 40 on the clock. Oh, well, that's a loss of turn shot and a half. Goodness me. Not as played, but they'll take it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a huge, huge moment in the... Uh, yeah, what a little result that is. I bet... Uh, the Brearley Davies partnership would like to have, have their last chance back now and actually be aggressive on it. There's a better chance than they've got now. It's a nice pot. 
Although, the way they're looking at this, I wonder if that little nudge on the yellow before means this yellow now goes off the bottom jaw off the red. In which case, it was a much better chance. So, less than two minutes to play in regulation tonight. The way they're going about this, this yellow at the bottom does go. And they're going to be able to get right behind it and be on it. You can see the way they're talking about it. No, oh, they're talking about playing into it. I've waited a long time to get into this. This has to be played well. It's got to come out for them. Wow, what a shot that is. It cuts. It's thin, but it does cut. I'm not sure it goes anywhere else. Where's the cue ball? Going off. Oh. oh, what a good shot that is. This for two each, and they'll have a minute to win it. Job done. 58 seconds left in the match. It's two each. Eight ball, just for a second. If the yellow drops in, the eight ball goes in. Well, it's as good as a golden break. It's as good as a golden break, because this is over. Look at that for a, for a break. Look at this for a split. It should be job done for Darren Appleton and Chris Patient. Yeah, the only thing you don't do here is slap balls around the table. We've seen it before. The eight ball's close to a pocket. Just don't give it a chance. Pot two balls in your home free. It's all over. Darren Appleton runs the clock. And Dynamite's return to the English eight ball table is a successful one. His ultimate pool debut means he will qualify through to the next stage of the ultimate pool pairs cup alongside Chris Patient. Massive a great win. Night on his ultimate pool debut for Darren Appleton and a great performance from his partner Chris Patient as they move into the second stage of the competition. As we look ahead to next week, Gareth Potts and Mark Selby are the headline act. Gareth Potts, one of the legends of the game with four world titles to his name. Mark Selby has one pool world title, but he also has four snooker world titles. They are going to take some stopping. The men trying to beat them, though, Hitam Patel and Steve Singh, Usama Al Maskini and Ian Ali. Alex Bailey and Lee Grout on what promises to be a fantastic night of pool. All the action gets underway 6.30 on Monday night on ultimatepool.tv and free sport. And I'll be back next week for a roundup of all the action. This program is brought to you by ultimatepool.tv.